might seem a little bit obnoxious to test a mountaineering tents under a covered car wash when it's like this outside. We're gonna get a little bit of best of both worlds. Mother Nature's gonna do her best to test these mountaineering tents, and we're gonna additionally test them with power washers in there. Either way, this is a lot of fun. So we're lucky enough to have Jenny, uh, our photo assistant here, to uh, try and freeze me, I guess. God, starting. <sighs> Overall, Sierra Designs did a fantastic job. We didn't see any water come in whatsoever. It was watertight. Got buffeted and beaten around by the wind quite a bit. This time I'm taking a little friend in with me. The uh, Go Light Valhalla 2 definitely had some leaking in. As soon as it went up to high pressure, we had some droplets coming in both through the zipper and through some of the seams on top. So far, so good. We're barely getting a bunch of it. Uh, pretty tough, pretty tough. No water got in and it resisted the wind really, really well. I think it got warm enough I was able to take my gloves off, which is a first, so. Stream Rage 2 did really well. Maybe got buffeted by the wind some, but stayed completely dry. Overall, a good effort. In the single wall category, the Sierra Designs did a fantastic job. It's a little bit lighter, more packable, no water whatsoever. It got pushed around a little bit more by the wind. Go light. A little bit of water seeped through, kind of rained in a little bit when the winds and the rain got a little tough. The big Agnes String Ridge did really well. Stayed totally dry. None of the seams leaked. Did get pushed around a little bit more. I think we have to give the, the bomb proof award to the Black Diamond. It resisted most, like the wind barely cut through both of the double walls and um, stayed completely dry. So right now I'm about colder than I've ever been on any mountain. I'm gonna go get a hot chocolate. Thank you.